Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jeanette's World, and good to see you again. And like I promised, we're gonna be doing marathon, marathon, marathon videos every one or two days. So may you, God help me. <laughs> so anyway, today's video is gonna be very short and sweet. And before I continue, my subscriber subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for watching my videos. And those new joiners or no, new people that are watching me today, so I welcome you to my channel. It's called Janet's World. And if my videos or my messages resonate with you, please, I ask you to subscribe, to share, to like my videos. And straight to today's um, episode, I just want to ask you guys, those aspiring cabin crew, because that's the only thing I'm specialized in. If you're an aspiring cabin crew anywhere in the world and you want to interact with me, you want me to check your CV, you want me to check your, the quality of your CV and the quality of your photos before you place your uh, application in the system of mostly any other any airline. But I'm here in the Middle East, I'm here in Dubai, so I'm specialized mostly, I can tell you, more about emirates i can tell you more about etihad or qatar Airways, middle eastern airlines because this is where i've lived for a very long time so just send it to me on your inst on my instagram again it's called janet's world and uh, dm send me a dm first first thing you need to do is follow me because it's a private account it's not open account my instagram account is a private account janet's world same like the youtube name YouTube channel name and then after you follow me send me uh, just chat me it might go to the request I might take some time before I reply because if it goes to the request I will not immediately get the notification I have to click and then go to click request or hidden messages before I can read it and then uh, so let's interact first before you send me your photos and your CV and tell me exactly what you want me to assist you with Again, I have to tell you guys, those ones who are asking me, can you please get me or help me get a job? No, I don't do that. I will repeat again. I've said in so many of my episodes, I don't do that. I don't know. These, these companies, these are professional companies, these are huge companies. You don't know anybody. These are huge companies with different departments. There's a recruitment department, there's a HR department, there's the service delivery department, there's what, 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 production department. So, and they don't like conversing. All you need to do is sell yourself, guys. That's what I always say. Is your CV written professionally? According to, what is it called, ATS? The, the new system where the system picks what you are applying for, like if you are applying customer service focus when it comes to airlines, uh, teamwork, attention to detail, problem solver, decision making, all those competencies that airlines are looking for. If you watch my previous videos, you will know exactly what I'm talking for, uh, talking about, because I've been mostly talking about how to answer sample answers for your interviews, okay? This one again does not assure you to get a job. Those are my own wordings. It should give you an idea of how you should answer these questions when they ask you. The most important thing when you go for any interview is calm, down. calm calm if you start panicking or uh, getting nervous which is normal it's normal to get nervous and even you can have a rapport with the interviewer the recruiter and say oh when they ask you how are you feeling today you have you know make them laugh make them laugh <laughs> me i like when people make me laugh so you say you know what to be honest i'm feeling nervous i'm feeling anxious and they understand because that's normal you want this job you know and you don't know how they're going to react anyway i'm already deviating so the purpose of this video is to ask you guys, those ones who are really, really serious people and they want this job, send me your CV and your uh, photos on my Instagram. And if I tell you this is what they want, just follow the instructions and do, try and do it and see if they're not going to call you for an interview. We keep trying. I always say never give up in life. Never, ever give up. Giving up is not our vocabulary, okay? Even sometimes my business is not doing well. I don't give up. We fight. You don't give the devil the leeway to your life. That's what I always tell everybody. If you've been applying for these jobs and you're failing, failing, failing. I failed the first time I went for Emirates interview. 
I never gave up. After two years is when they took me. And I worked for them for almost 16 years plus. You know, never give up in life. Ever. That's my motto. Ever not giving up. <laughs> it's so personal because sometimes, you know, you have uh, spiritual fights. You have a lot of things fighting your life and all the, you are, oh, I'm going to give up. No. You don't give the devil any. <sighs> don't give the devil anything that, you know, will make him happy. Actually make him angry. So guys, don't ever give up. Keep trying, keep trying. Especially if you really, really love this job. If you really want this job. It's such a nice job. I will tell you and I will not lie to you. It's a very good job. If you get it. But it's very, very competitive. Very competitive. Don't just write a small, vague CV that is very light. Does not say anything. Sell yourself. I can't emphasize this enough. Sell yourself. On your CV, make sure that it you know, you outshine the others. Because when they call you for interview, like 200 people, and they would only pick one or two. That's what happened to me. We were about 200 people, and they only picked three of us. And I was so scared. Oh, my God, some people are coming with wanging English, like, who oh, with serious accent. Me with my accent right now, you know, it's a normal accent. And they still took me. So you never know. Again, I say it's God's grace. When he picks you, it's your time. Thank you, guys. See you on the next episode.